How long have you been able to talk? Let's see, today's Tuesday, so, um, always. You're the best zookeeper we ever had. We don't want you to leave. You listen to us, we'll show you how to get the girl. You think I should just maybe ask her out? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, slow it down, hot shot. Mike Cameron, are you ready to talk for two minutes straight about zookeeper? Go. I'm going to start talking about Zookeeper, a new movie by Kevin James. Everybody's favorite, if everybody is no one I've ever met in my entire life. By talking about the candy thin layer of the, just the thin veneer that can just, that we lay over ourselves as a society that keeps civilization civil, that keeps society from devolving into raw anarchy. Because we think we have control. We think that if we work hard enough, and earn enough money, we can live a good life. And if we take our vitamins, we won't die, but we will. We will die. We don't have control over anything. We can't control the weather. We can't control the stock market. We can't control volcanoes that may erupt from the bottom of Young and Dundas Square and burn our babies and mothers with lava. We can't control any of that. And if it rained and frogs fell from the sky and lightning hit us in our faces every day for 40 days, we would say, what have we done? Whoever is up there, wherever, Ganesh lives in a, in a, a house I, or whatever. What have we done to deserve this curse? My question is, what have we done to deserve Kevin James's last five years of films? We can't control what movies come out. We just go, we just pick what's from what's given. We can't say, hey, make a non-shitty Terminator movie right now so I can see it next week. We can only go because other people have made decisions. And for whatever reason, somebody that hates humanity has decided to curse us with Kevin James films. Zookeeper, pronounce you luck, Chuck and Larry, whatever the hell it was called. The Dilemma, Paul Blart, Malkoff. They're all awful. No one likes them. Zookeeper is excrementally bad. It is pitifully not funny with terrible dumb animals and a crappy romance plot that's so bad it makes everyone involved look retarded. It's awful. Terrible.